My purpose for today's video is to give an exercise for everyone on the road to recovery of PNES. Whether you begin your journey or you're in your journey, this is an exercise to help you to get that to that next level. I'm going to ask a question. This is going to be a challenge question. When do you want to recover from PNES? And when you recover, who do you want in your community to celebrate with you? Now here are some shaping thoughts. The first is that PNES is a diagnostic condition. It throws up red flags. It allows us to see that something is not working properly, whether it be in our mind or our body. If you take a car to the, the shop because the check engine light came on, once they repair it, that light should go off. Sometimes they have to recalibrate. I don't know, I'm not a technical engineer or mechanic, so I don't know how that works, but and much, I am not a neurologist and I'm not a psychologist. I'm just a coach who recovered from PNES and takes what I've learned to help other people. So the first is shaping thought is that you have to understand that this is a temporary situation and the duration of it depends on, on the actions that you'll take. So the second shaping question is, who do you want to celebrate with you? I asked that in the original question. There are some people, in my own situation, I had to isolate from family, from even from most of my friends, because I was too vulnerable, I was too exposed, and that wasn't, it didn't feel safe, and it wasn't conducive to healing. I instinctively, at that time, picked out people who I thought would help me, who would be my cheerleaders, who would help me to achieve the goal. And I don't look back, I don't regret any decisions. The third shaping thought is that once you set your goal, your six month, one year, whatever goal of when you're going to overcome, what steps are you prepared to take? What actionable goals and what actionable steps are you able to take? Now I'll tell you, a huge clue to recovery for PNES is self-development. You can look up self-development, you can take out books uh, for adolescents in self-development. Essentially your, your top areas are going to be your self-esteem, your feeling of self-importance, and your identity. Think about these three shaping thoughts. Think about this question. If you have not already begun your journey, decide that today is going to be that day. Get out a blank notebook. Call that your recovery notebook. Write down these questions. How long is it gonna take for me to recover? And who do I want in my corner? God bless you and be well.